Hello again, back for an update. Um, as you can see, we're, uh, we're wrapped as of today. Boat's a little bit of a mess, I gotta wipe it down. But, um, been looking forward to posting this video because uh, it means I'm pretty close to finished. So, uh, the door sliding in, perfect alignment. No forward and back movement at all. So, as I said in the last video, the plan was to drill a pilot hole or an access hole, uh, which I did over here. So I drilled down into the track um, all the way through to the other side. And this is what it looks like on the other side. And there's your access hole right there. Should see some daylight coming through there. So um, I did buy some extra sliding blocks um, I bought four additional sliding blocks, figuring I could just load this thing up to distribute some of the weight. You can start to see the first two there. So it really comes with two. One's about, a, I don't know, six inches in, and then the other one's pretty close to the end of the door. So I basically put two in between. Um, and so some tricky things I found along the way. Um, sorry for the phone. Uh, the order in which you add the blocks here, uh, I wanted to drill the first two in to, to one that was already there so I could get uh, some alignment and know how high or what angle the door needed to be at forward and backward for my next one. So I put those two in temporarily while I drilled the other one next to it and screwed that in so I know I had good alignment. I just slid the door over, I pulled the one out with the crappy holes, moved that over, drilled new holes and put those back. And I just worked my way to the right. I would slide the door, get an alignment here with my hole, drill the hole, put the screw in, slide over, get the block aligned. And it really wasn't that bad getting the blocks aligned. Um, some tools I think would be helpful. Um, I did have to get a really long drill bit, as you can see. And um, that's what I used to get all the way up in there as you can see it's not that much longer than a regular drill bit but it was short by about an inch or so and so I also used um, the stopper there and I put the drill bit through a hole that was originally on the boat um, to know what the depth should be because I did not want to drill through the door all the way to the top uh, and through the other side so this stopped me from getting up there I just put the tape on just to make sure that thing didn't slide down I really wanted to make sure I didn't go through. So I got um, that. I already had this long screwdriver. This is a little bit of overkill, but it just helped me get some leverage on the screw as I was pushing through the hole like this. Yeah, I think a regular screwdriver would probably work just fine. Um, I compared the screws that came with the boat to, um, uh, to other ones in the store. I, I ended up with a, a number eight, one and a quarter inch um, stainless steel screw. I ended up using some of the ones I already had. That's what those look like. They're oval head Phillips screws. And uh, I never did this before, but I looked up what size drill bit I would need for a number eight. And uh, one eighth inch came back. I did. I got this drill bit. It's a DeWalt at Home Depot for like six or seven bucks. Um, probably never need to use it again, but who cares? It did the job. So everything's looking pretty good. I got to put all this liner back together now. Uh, one other thing that I'll mention is, you know, as I was working, um, I ended up taking more and more and more staples out to get this thing lower and lower and lower. Um, you know, it was just really tough to work uh, in this area here without having a ton of clearance. So I got my boat hook down here holding this thing up and I would put it on top of the head door a little bit too. But um it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not moving at all. And again, I'm distributing the weight against across four blocks now. So I expect this thing to hold up pretty well. I mean, if it does go again, um, you know, I'll have to think about strengthening it even more, maybe using bigger screws or even putting some epoxy um, on the blocks or in the screws. But, uh, you know, for the first time since, uh, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago, I can actually close this door without having to really, you know, work it back and forth to make sure it lines up. So super excited. 
I'm gonna throw some uh, some grease in here in the track to make it slide just a little bit more. Um, although it, it actually isn't that bad. I don't know if I want to go too fast either. But uh, everything's looking good. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, again, I bought four additional blocks. I only ended up using two. Um, the two that I, the four that I got were all too short, maybe by about a quarter of an inch. So I used a bandsaw and cut off the top of two of them and just shimmed them on top of the other ones. I don't know what your boat's like. Um, I could, I could uh, send some uh, post some pictures on that too. But anyway, that's the project. Did not have to remove the helm. Thank goodness, I did not want to do that. So I uh, hope this helps everybody and uh, take care and be safe.